Introducing Soberton's 3D printable speaker enclosures. We designed these enclosures to make benchtop testing of our components easier for you. The enclosures are custom designed for each of our components and can be easily modified to fit your needs. To get started, visit our website, www.soberton.com, and go to the product page of the component of your choice. Click the 3D printable enclosure button. After the download completes, open the zip folder and unzip the contents. You will see the 3D printed enclosure guide with instructions for printing, assembly instructions for the specific enclosure you just downloaded, step and STL files of the enclosures. There may be more than one version of each file. For example, this component has a B and an E file EC-001. Make sure to print both of them. If you'd like to modify or customize the enclosure design, open the step files in your preferred CAD software and modify however you'd like. For example, modifying the flange diameter is quick and easy. Next, it's time to print. You can either print the part yourself, or if you don't have your own printer, a professional service bureau such as Forecast 3D can do it for you. If you print the part yourself, the enclosures are designed to print with a variety of materials and settings. Slice the STL and let your printer go. In this example, we're using white PLA, but again, any material will work. Once your parts are printed and in your hands, it's time to assemble. Depending on which enclosure you are using, you may have one or two pieces. Enclosure files that start with EC-002 are only one piece, no assembly required. Files that start with EC-001 and EC-004 are two pieces that slide together and are expandable, so you can experiment with enclosure size and acoustic performance. Files that start with EC-003 are two pieces and need to be fastened together with screws or glue. We recommend tapping the holes in the cup-shaped part with M3 threads and fastening the top lid with M3 screws. Most enclosures feature a recessed pocket for the speaker to press into like so. Because all 3D printers are calibrated differently, your pocket may be too loose for the speaker to securely press into. If this is the case, we recommend a small dab of glue to keep it in place. Enclosures with file names that start with EC-003 require the speaker to be adhered to the underside of the lid using either the supplied adhesive on the speaker or a glue of your choosing. Wire for all speakers can exit the enclosure through the small hole in the bottom. Once your enclosure and speaker are all assembled, you can either use them as is on a bench top or use the flanges on the enclosures to mount them in a panel. Note, most enclosures can flange mount from either the front or the back side. We hope these 3D printable enclosures make prototyping and testing easier and more productive for you. Make sure to check out our website for our expanding selection of products, CAD files, and 3D printable enclosures.